Okay, so I just read about this new AI model called Minimax M1, and it totally flipped my understanding of language models. Wait, what's so different about it? I mean, isn't almost every new model claiming to be revolutionary these days? Right? But hear me out. Minimax M1 is the world's first large-scale hybrid attention reasoning model. It has this super cool mixture of experts' architecture. Whoa, that sounds intense. So what's the significance of this hybrid approach? Well, for starters, it can process up to a million tokens at once. That's eight times what most models can handle. No way. That's like getting way more context in a single pass, right? How does that even work? Exactly. It utilizes this lightning attention mechanism, which makes it way more efficient on long inputs. Like, how awesome is that? That's wild. Imagine the applications in software engineering or complex problem solving. Totally. They even trained it with reinforcement learning on all kinds of tasks, not just straightforward language. Oh, so it's not just about understanding text, but also reasoning through it? That's interesting. Right. And they developed this new algorithm called CISPO, which clips important sampling weights. I mean, wow! What does that even mean? How does clipping sampling weights help it perform better? Um, so it basically improves the way the model learns its mistakes over time, making it more efficient. So instead of just throwing more data at it, they're refining the learning process. That's really smart. Exactly. And it shows in the benchmarks. Minimax M1 outperformed some of the strongest models out there. Really? Like which ones? I love a good battle of the models. They outpaced DeepSeek and even Quen 3235B in complex coding tasks. Mind-blowing. That's impressive. So how does it handle something like mathematical reasoning? Oh, it's insane. It scored nearly perfect on multiple benchmarks, like Math 500 gave it a 96.8. Wow, that's better than I expected. So this means it could actually help in real-world applications? Absolutely. It's designed for complex tasks that require extended reasoning. This could revolutionize how we code and interact with AI. Not to mention the potential for tools it could enhance. Think automation meets intelligence. Exactly. And what's fascinating is it can even identify when an external function needs to be called, generating inputs automatically. That's really cool. So basically, it acts like a super assistant for developers. I can see that being a game changer. Totally. They've even set up a chatbot with online search capabilities. The future is here. I can imagine how that could speed up workflows. It's like a personal coding assistant on steroids. And it incorporates speech synthesis and image generation, too. Like, whoa. That gives me chills. Imagine working with an AI that communicates and creates like a human. Right? It really makes you rethink the future of AI interactions. But do you think it could replace certain jobs, or is it more about augmentation? I think it's all about enhancement for now. It's a tool to boost creativity and productivity, not to replace. Exactly. We're still going to need human intuition and creativity to guide it. So true. Plus, there's something so human about the creative process that a machine can't replicate. And that makes the whole journey of tech evolution exciting. It means collaboration is the future. For sure. The way Minimax M1 adapts to different challenges shows that we'll be stepping into a new era of AI. Speaking of new eras, I wonder what the next breakthrough in AI will be. Oh, and I can't help but think how Minimax M1 is just the beginning of even more advanced models. Right, we're witnessing the evolution of AI as we speak. It's like the dawn of a new technological age. And it all circles back to how we harness these advancements to better our world. It's exhilarating. Absolutely. It's both thrilling and a little scary. I can't wait to see what unfolds. Same here. Makes me wonder if our tools will inspire creativity in ways we've yet to imagine. That's a profound thought. It feels like we're on the edge of discovering limitless possibilities. And that's the beauty of innovation. It never really stops. What a journey ahead. Indeed. I love this mix of excitement and curiosity about what tomorrow holds. Me too. So let's keep our eyes peeled for the next breakthrough. It could be anything. Absolutely. And who knows, maybe our next chat will involve even more mind-blowing discoveries. I can't wait for that. Until then, let's explore the world of possibilities. Definitely. Every conversation just adds more layers to our understanding. Here's to the future.